Okay, Mick here. Um, yeah, well, there it is. End result. Pretty hard. Pretty happy with it actually. Um, I did a video before saying that these um, these centre bits here, some of that weren't on the old one, come in and have a bit of a look. Actually, um, stops the stops the top from sagging so much in the middle, which always tends to dip down in here and holds the water. So in addition, a couple of extra bits in there. Looks pretty good, nice canvas tank. Looks good. Right, let's have a look. Pretty sturdy zips on it as well. I'll go and have a look, I'll just roll this up, get it out of our way. It's pretty quick, nice and easy to roll up. Just sort of like that. Tab. This, one, this one's a bit wet inside still. I uh, I just hosed it off. Plus it's a bit rainy outside. So anyway, come and have a look. Just watch your step. There's a little bit of water there. So yeah, it's not too bad, is it? I pointed out earlier um, in an earlier video, but the actual structure of the tent the poles inside of this one and the old on the old type they're um, on the outside of the tent so that's not a bad setup and enables you to tie things up along the top using the pole for support it doesn't have an ex a side door anywhere the only way in and out is through the front which doesn't worry me because that's where you come in there anyway uh, little pockets put your stuff in and over here we've got more pockets like a shoe, almost like a shoe thing, isn't it? Put anything in there. No, I'm real happy. What do you reckon? You like it? I think it's pretty good. I can't wait to go camping in it. Yeah, it's a really good style tent. It has everything you need. It's roomy. It's not pokey. The floor, this floor is really like I've got an old tent, an older one of these, and the floor is nowhere near this. You know, it's very it's sturdy, especially pretty. when you're on the sand. Yeah. It's easy to sweep out too. Mm. That's your job. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Alright, well, let's have a look on the outside. So, we'll go down this side. Okay, so, uh, all good. I wet it over before just to, they reckon wetting it down swells the stitching. So, um, when you do go out, it makes it even more waterproof. Once the stitches swell, it seals the seals the joins. They're brand new. So, coming up the back, be careful, there's a little bit of wet still. Decent canvas flaps, uh, nice sturdy zips, and they velcro in down here as well. Pretty good design, nice and easy just to roll them up. Let some nice breeze in. I even like to have these open at night time, you know, when you're out camping, just to let get the nice breeze in, yeah, the them. fresh air. Yeah. Easy enough to do one person, you know. Some of the some of the tents you get, like you need two people just to hold them up. And believe me when I say this stuff is pretty sturdy, like it's a real harsh, coarse canvas, so it's gonna last a while, especially for the props. You know, I mean, I've seen these things going for 450 bucks on Evo. This half the price, brand new, half the price, brand new. So. From the local camping store. No, really good. Uh, just moving along, I haven't tied these up, but obviously tie these up to the steel bracing in the middle, which is something that I haven't seen on these before. If you come a bit closer, you can see they've actually got a steel bracing on the corner, which is a good idea. The only thing that I found was where the actual pole slides in, the weld on some of them has gone right through, and where this sleeve fits in, it hits up against the weld and doesn't allow you to get right in to where the pin slots in but we fixed that up we just got in and filed it down a bit so we could get get to it uh, on this side this is a really big window generally you'll need two people for this one it was quite big but i'll have a go on my own i'm not having much luck but how are you doing okay generally if you start from the middle and just work your way to the outside you should be able to work it it doesn't have to be perfect you know it's just really enough to keep it up just to breeze, breeze through. in so while i'm fishing and the 
and the girls are uh, in the kitchen making dinner. <laughs> I'm getting a pretty bad look there, but anyway. Uh, I'm sure Georgina would be down fishing and I'd be up here making the food. Anyway, but that's that, nice and easy. As you can see once again, the bell closed, so it sticks down as well as zips down, so if the wind gets up, it stays in the around. Come on through the. I've only put this up pretty quick, uh, but I just want to take take notice here um, of these ropes. Probably the thickest ropes. I've had a few tents come around this way a bit. Had a few tents in the past, but you can see that in my hand. That's a pretty decent sized rope compared to what you normally get, um, which is is probably half that. So it's good good thick rope. And as I said, I've just dodged this up to the front yard. It's not really pegged down properly, but. Um, generally, no, I'm, I'm quite happy with it. I've got a front section that goes on as well, and it's a whole new room. Um, it's not new, I've had it from an old tent, but it's still in good shape, so it's perfect. It's going to fit on here. You see that, I don't know if you can get up close enough here, you can see the, the actual Velcro. So the piece of got Velcros under there, and then it pegs down on the ground, and it actually closes this whole room up and has two doors here. So you can either have the door open, and when we'll use it, we'll have our. Um, we'll have our table and chairs and that in here you know esky and all that so this can be the front like a sort of a kitchen tent type set up at the front uh, i'll take another video another time of it actually completed but i just got it it's brand new and i just wanted to show you i think it's pretty good it's a wanderer tent um yeah that's pretty good can we have a look back inside to see how the air flows through the yeah. tent yeah oh yeah okay. hang on let's line this one up quickly we can really let the light in, so you can open these up on four sides. By the way, if you come back around here, show you this, it's got these eyelets here, so you can actually, there's two poles that come with the tent, and you can actually peg that up, or pull, put the poles up, peg it out, so that you get a nice fresh breeze in, plus you can get the shade as well, so it's a good design. Mm. Um, I'll just roll this up, I'll have a go, it's a bit, a bit hard to do It's like the other own, side. But you did the other like side. Like I said, really. do the middle and then work your way to the edges. That generally is enough to keep it. Like I said, it doesn't need to be perfect. You can start in the middle or on one end. It doesn't really matter. It's just enough to keep it. Keep it up. Let's have a look inside. It's not a bad colour either. So the purple mm. is purple is blue. So when the tsunami comes and we're at the we we'll blend in with the ocean. We'll blend in with the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, look at all the light and all the air filter coming in. It's lovely. Yeah, it's good. It's awesome. We'll have to... Uh, yeah. Look yeah, at that. Of, you don't even need a light in here to like read just, or a torch. I'll just sit or... myself in the corner. I can see how much there's plenty of room. I'm over in the other corner here. Yeah. Well, can you bet so... even if your bed takes up half of this, you've still got all that other half to put your, yeah. your clothes or your, you know, your little bedding yeah um your bags or whatever just to keep them inside and there's plenty of light to read or to do to find yeah. something can it you know and there's even um up here we've got another window so we'll, let's open that up as well let's give that inside you'll see the light coming as well yeah it's beautiful play nice cards beautiful whatever Velcros. you want it's a pretty good setup Look, we couldn't yeah. be happier, to be honest, you know. For the price, it was only fantastic. Only a couple of new tents in these day, but um, most of the times, you know, you try and get a, you're going to get a canvas especially. You generally can't afford to get them, but um, for the price this one was, it was definitely worth, mm. worth the shot. Um, so I'll just roll that up a bit better. There it is. Yeah, so anyway, I just thought I'd show you the tent and, um, you know, the came out of the box, everything looked pretty good. It was easy to put up too, it wasn't yeah. that painful, yeah. was it? No, you know? it was pretty good. I reckon yeah. probably for the first time it took us... About an hour and a half. Yeah, but that was like, That's only because we numbered the poles and we yeah. did all kinds of things, so it would make it easier. Uh, yeah. Just Regina's idea, we just put, you know, they number the poles but it, and they colour them as well, but it's always good to number them. Mm. Just so you've got the numbers and the colours yeah. to match them up, so it's a good idea. Uh, but look, I reckon once you've, once, now that I know how to set it up properly, probably 
don't know, I reckon half an hour you'd be up. Yeah, definitely. I'll take I'll a I'll add the extra bit on, you know, yeah. an hour is an hour. At the hour. most. You'd be sitting down having a, having a rum. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can't wait for that. Right. Um, anyway, that's it. I just want to show you the new tent. I'm stoked with it now.